Oh hi, I'm the heretic. So on May 18th, 2018, at 7.45 a.m., a shooter attacked Santa Fe High School in Santa Fe, Texas. At the time of this recording, 10 people are dead and 10 more wounded. He used a 38 revolver and a shotgun to carry out the attack. A teacher pulled the fire alarm to prompt a school evacuation and a response from authorities. Police have also located pressure cooker bombs, pipe bombs, and one Molotov cocktail. Fortunately, none were detonated. The shooter has since surrendered to police, stating that he lacked the courage to go through with his plan to kill himself and is now in police custody. According to student Isabel Lamance, he said, Surprise, MF, presumably surprise, Mother Fragger, before opening fire and chasing down people while cheering over his own kills. Ray Montemayor, senior at the high school and someone who said that he was an acquaintance of the shooter, said that he was a quiet kid and didn't see this coming. I mean, what's there to say? Ten people are dead. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has called it one of the most heinous acts he has ever seen in the history of Texas schools. Now what about the weapons themselves? They were legally owned by the shooter's father, who likely didn't give his son permission to take them. The origins of the explosives is still unclear, and there's reports of at least two possible accomplices. We'll know more as time goes on, but I don't expect to hear it from the mainstream media. Did someone put him up to this? Was he on mind-melting antidepressants or SSRIs? We don't know. All I can comment on is that once again, like vultures to the carcass, the collectivists climb atop the still warm bodies preaching their dogma of statism. That if we just surrender just the right amount of property rights to a coercive monopoly, then we can protect our hatchlings. You'll even see this number, 22 school shootings this year. This is a lie intended to manipulate your emotions. Don't fall for it. That 22 statistic counts things like gang violence. I mean, we definitely know no background check laws or waiting periods would have stopped this event since the weapons were owned legally. But in their hubris, presuming to speak for the dead, they seek to once again use tragedy to justify using the violence of the state in the name of doing something. You know? Instead of pulling fire alarms, teachers should be pulling Glocks. Just saying, Israel arms its teachers. Now after a shooting, everyone's looking for a motive. Well, we know the shooter was previously bullied by the high school coaches. They did this repeatedly and to multiple students, even prompting one father to encourage his son to physically defend himself from it. People can see the coaches bullying as one possible motive, but there's gotta be more to it. After all, they were bullying several kids. The shooter wore a Born to Kill t-shirt and a black trench coat. Now why is this important? This post, made by the shooter, shows off the trench coat as well as several buttons and insignia. Now people are trying to ascribe some political motive to it. They see the Iron Cross and immediately assume he's a Nazi, or the hammer and sickle and column Antifa. He's also photographed with a bisexual heart, so I'll let you parse out his sympathies. But if you want to figure out what the meaning the shooter derived from the flare on his coat, let's hear it from the horse's mouth. Rebellion. Kamikaze tactics. Bravery. Evil. Power. I'm beginning to see a picture painted here. Of course, simply calling it evil is a tautology that tells us nothing. What made him want to put a symbol of evil on his clothes and actually go out and kill people? Where are the parents in all this? All we know is that he has access to his father enough to get his guns. What do they think of all this? Good lord, what are they going through? Actually, no. I'm not sure I want to be sympathetic to them. It's the parent's responsibility to raise them into a responsible adult. Now, I'm not expecting perfection, obviously, but if the end result is a mass murderer, then to say you screwed up would be putting it very mildly. What was the home environment like? Did the parents fight? What happened? We owe it to the victims and families. They deserve to know what drove him to this callous, evil act. I can infer one thing, though. The black trench coat? The hammer and sickle star? He's looking like the trench coat mafia, the Columbine shooters. Now let that sink in for a second. While we can't prove that's what he was going for, the connection does exist. We know he was motivated by malevolence. So what did he want to do? Go out in a blaze of glory, become infamous, 
become the somebody he always wanted to be, as represented by the power of his Cthulhu insignia. Becoming infamous meant he could join the exalted ranks of the Columbine shooters, the Las Vegas shooter, or the Oklahoma City bomber. His name would be plastered all over the news, and he will become immortalized in history. And you know what? The media played right into his hands. You can't turn on a news broadcast or read an article about the Santa Fe High School shooting without seeing his name and face everywhere. It's the reason that I've refused to mention the shooter's name or put his face anywhere on my video. It totally has nothing to do with that I wouldn't be able to pronounce his name. Definitely not. I'm not giving him any more name recognition. If you want his name, read the articles linked below. If we want to stop school shootings and the collectivists are honest about willing to do anything to stop it, there are several things we can do. First, arm teachers. Second, stop over-prescribing SSRIs. Three, arm security guards. The latter of which has actually stopped two school shootings in the past few weeks. But if nothing else, there's one very simple thing that requires no effort that could easily stop these mass shootings. All you have to do is stop showing these monsters names and faces and making them infamous. Questions, comments, critique? What do you think about all this? Is this a false flag and the kid put up to this by certain federal bureau of investigating- <coughs> Parklet! <coughs> Excuse me. Like, share, and subscribe to become a heretic today.